Hi, welcome to Callaway Tour Tips with me, Thomas Bjorn. We are going to do a little bit of chip and running here. These are normally meat and drink for someone of Bjorn's ability around the edge of the green, nicely played. If you have a lot of green to work with and it's pretty flat, then you'd always try and, and chip and run it and almost get it rolling like a pot and, and just kind of release out. It's certainly easier to control any ball that's on the ground as soon as you get that kind of bouncy greens and runny greens. It's so much easier to control, especially when you give it, you know, you talk to amateurs, get the ball rolling as quickly as possible. Not the most difficult shot in golf, but sometimes people, I think, overcomplicate this a little bit. So when you come in to, a, to hitting this shot, I think one of the things that people forget is that actually keeping a ball on the ground can be a lot easier. And here we've got an uphill green, it's, it's going to be quite slow. So i got an 8-iron here. When we talk about things that you can do to improve your chip and runs, just remember, this is like a putt. This is only in your shoulders. It really isn't anything in the arms. So the angle here, the triangle in your arms, stays exactly the same. So you can tuck your arms into your body and you can just move your shoulders back and forth and let the ball get in the way instead of trying to hit the ball. What you see often is that people are using their arms too much, they don't use their body. Here's the Ryder Cup captain, Thomas Bjorn. All you do is you tuck your arms into your side and you create this V in front of you. And that V has to stay pretty constant all the way through. A little bit of weight on your left foot and then it's just like a pot. And then you can just let the ball roll up the green. <laughs> 